Hello everyone and welcome to this very long awaited life update video. I know you were just clenching your armchair seats because you were anticipating this video so hard. But here it is now. Anyways, so in my previous news video, I talked about how I got a job. Okay, that was the first arc, alright? Or maybe like the fifth one out of something, I don't know. So now I'm gonna talk about life as a part-time busser. So yeah, I only work on the weekends, so I mean, I don't, I don't work that much. So first of all, what I'm drawing in this video is just a little, a little quick, a quick little doodle, you know, a quick little five second, no I'm kidding, it's not five second doodle, but it's just a little painting I did, um, cause I've been browsing like this cool goth brand, and now my, my brain is just filled with cool goth clothes, so obviously I gotta draw some of that, you know, they had some cool like face mask, I was like, should I, should I wear just like a cool face mask just for fun? But um, you know, that's, that's that. Anyways, so back to the main topic of this news cycle. So I am a busser, alright, in, 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 in the Cheesecake Factory, alright? It's, it's like a chain restaurant in the Americas. And overall, it's been a month so far. And I think it's pretty good. It's, I like the job so far. Okay, you know, I have chill co-workers. You know, every shift is like a nice workout. And I get free food. I always like getting... Uh. I'm so sorry. The, ch the chicken sandwich, okay? Because it's just, you know, after a long shift, you, you just gobble that up. And it's tasty, alright? Um, and it's free. Anything tastes good when it's free, okay? So at the beginning of this job, during the interview, my interviewer was like, Can you carry heavy stuff? I have to ask this. And I was like, well, yeah, just like, just like every job, ask that, right? And then I went into the job and it's like, no, you actually do have to like, not be super weak and frail, a frail weak artist like somebody <laughs> so when i started working there i was like man am i going to survive or will i die <laughs> because okay first of all you had to take out all the stinky garbage okay the garbage bins that the servers use and stuff for the leftovers and you know they can get heavy sometimes i like take out the trash bag and it's like really heavy and one time i I dumped it in the bigger trash bin and it all tipped over and it was horrendous. But I learned not to put it on the edge where it can tip over. So, you know, life lesson there. Um, and also, I have to take out the disgusting linens, <laughs> okay? This is disgusting, <laughs> okay? Okay, the, the linens, all right? Like the, the freaking, the cloths. That the disgusting customers wipe their disgusting mouths in there, alright? You don't know what's going in there. There could be freaking baby diarrhea, alright? <laughs> it's disgusting! Uh, if I haven't accentuated that part enough, just to let you know. Um, so I have to take that out of a big bin. There's a big bin and I put it in a bigger bin and I'm small and frail. <laughs> so sometimes the big bins are so full of nasty linens and I have to stack them on top. I have to stack more linens on top of the giant pile. All right. And sometimes it's, it's difficult that <laughs> y'all follow me. And it's disgusting. <laughs> All right, it's disgusting. Okay. Um, and also, I had to carry like these these big old ice buckets. 
and they were heavy at first. I'm not gonna lie. And, and you can't even put them on the floor once you're at the ice pouring station. So then you have to like hook it onto the counter, which means you have to like lift it up. And it's a whole ordeal. And also like, I kind of have like sensory issues. I don't know. I had to like wash my hands every five seconds because I was like, this is so disgusting and revolting that I have to touch people's dirty ass plates, okay? <laughs> but you know, over time, I actually got used to it, you know? I think, you know, have you heard of this thing where your nose blocks out a smell so that it could smell danger, you know? I think my nose blocked out the smell of the garbage area because that shit smelled so fucking nasty. <laughs> But now I'm just like, you know, it's the trash. It's that's just how life is. And also like, what the heck does this say? Oh, gains. So I was reading my notes and it was illegible. But yeah, I became stronger. So like the ice buckets, they're not even heavy anymore. They're like feathers. Okay, I'm exaggerating a little bit. You know, if I walk more than, you know, 10 feet, I might collapse and die, but you know, it's gotten better, it's gotten better. And, and I've gotten better with the sensory stuff, you know, I can handle, you know, I can handle a bit of disgustingness, alright, I'm used to it, I'm used to it, okay? And you know what, what's really good, is that it pays better than my last job, okay? We're climbing the ranks, we are climbing the ranks, I know, I know, this is very good for the career path I am going through. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, but pays better than Target, so that's pretty cool. I didn't even know how much they would pay me because they did, they didn't say anything on the damn LinkedIn or whatever. <laughs> but I think that's because it's like based on tips, so it's not really like a thing, but yeah, base pay is like a dollar. <laughs> I'm just kidding, it's two dollars. And then you get tips on top of that. And the tips, pretty juicy. So, yeah. So if you want, like, more money than a minimum wage job, I would suggest doing, like, a job with tips. Because usually that gives you more money. Anyways, that's just a life advice for the kiddos. Kiddo to kiddo, you know? Anyways. So now let's move in to some... Notable work events, just some some fun things that has happened throughout my time working here. So the first thing, I'll call it the night horrors, okay? So I had a shift at the, the dinner time. Dinner time cheesecake. So I walk in and usually I work with another busser. And it's like teamwork, dream work, all right, it's beautiful. One of the bussers like clears the tables and cleans everything. And the other busser sets the table. And um, I walk in and I see, I see no comrade, no camaraderie. And my boss is like, oh yeah, so you're by yourself for like an hour. But you know, another busser is gonna come in after that. So, you know, and I'm like, what? No! <laughs> I've never set tables before! But yeah, it was actually kind of fun because it was like such a strategy. I'm sorry. Strategization, okay? That's how you say the word. I had to be like, all right, I'm gonna clear these tables and I'm gonna set these. Okay, also setting. Setting is kind of fun because you're just you know, putting down those plates and and knives, it's like making it look all nice. That's my sort of jam. Anyways, I did that for an hour, but I was pretty much like, help me. <laughs> so then finally, my partner comes in and I'm like, thank the heavens, thank the heavens. And tell me why. Tell me why that was the busiest night of my life. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I've only worked there for like a month, but that was the busiest night I've experienced since working there. I don't know why, it was like a Tuesday. Maybe it was because it's like winter break, I don't know. I don't know. It was so busy that like I felt like I didn't even have time 
to refill the ice or take out the trash. So things were getting out of hand. And if you don't do this side work, all right, the ecosystem, it, it gets destroyed. Just like in the wild with, with the, with, you know, the ants feeding, the, the anteaters feeding the lions. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> so, um, that was stressful. But then finally, it was the end! Okay, it was the end. <laughs> and then I had to close, which is, which is like, bruh, it's like, you know, it's very satisfying when it, like, it starts to slow down and finally empties and you're like, Thank the heavens, it's gone, it's done! But then you have to be like, oh, well now I have to, like, clean up everything. But at least, like, you have your own time. You don't have to be stressed by like, oh my gosh, I have to turn these tables. Yeah. Um, but mostly, you're just like, I want to go home and sleep. Um, but yeah. So that was pretty, it was, it was fine. Uh, cleaning everything for the closing. And then my boss, my favorite boss, she's like, oh my gosh, did you know you get a free cheesecake every year? Like a whole cheesecake. And I'm like, what the frick? So, I actually don't like cheesecake, but I was still like, oh my gosh, and I got a chocolate cheesecake, which, it tasted, you know, I wish I enjoyed it, but I, it, at the end of the day, I don't like cheesecake, so I didn't, I had conflicting feelings, I wanted to like it because it was free and it was a whole cheesecake, but yeah also nobody i knew wanted to eat this damn cheesecake so i just had a whole cheesecake and w with no one to eat it <laughs> so that was a thing but you know still fun still fun you know i got for my food i got orange chicken you know very strange orange chicken at cheesecake factory how's that gonna taste i was wondering and it was fine it was whatever <laughs> it was like it was not revolting. I mean, it was it was okay. And also, also, I got so much money that when when my partner was like counting it out and he just gave it to me, I was like, "Is this a mistake? <laughs> Did you? What is this? Um, I mean, like a lot of money for for me because, um, yeah, I don't I don't see that much money in my days, you know." <laughs> as a as a little fetus but um yeah so i was like i was like dollar signs in my eyes <laughs> you know crazy right um but you know what i don't think it was worth it for the pain and suffering um, i went through but you know it is what it is okay well actually this video has ended so i had two more events but i'll just tell you that in the next in the next news so i hope you enjoyed this little ramble rambly ramblings and make sure to drink lots of water i hope you enjoyed the speed paint as well <laughs> okay anyways goodbye